this is it. I'm uh, it's twenty past four, and uh, I've got my mate come and pick me up now. He's gonna drop me off in uh, Bristol Airport. And just a quick reminder, I'm off to uh, to Scotland. Sons of Scotland, I am William Wallace. Never take our freedom. To um, help Gavin and Jordan out. So doing a fly-in today and uh, maybe one of many. I did it in Australia once, so see you soon, Gav. Well, just to give you an idea, look at it. Absolutely freezing this morning. And I'm on my way to Glasgow. Well, um, I'm at Bristol Airport. It's absolutely packed with lots of people here, and they've, uh, it's all different. And uh, But apart from that, I'm looking forward to meeting the guys and uh, excited, but um, a little bit nervous. You know, but these guys seem all right, you know, and I'm, we're going to go up there and uh, let's see what happens. I'm sat here in the uh, in the airport now in the departure lounge, just waiting for uh, the call to the gate for Glasgow, and uh, just charging my phone. And uh, a few thoughts running through my mind, and uh, you can tell by the vlog that I'm doing now that uh, I don't have any concerns. But I think the important thing is not to be seen as uh, the saviour of the landscape and world, because that's not what I'm about. The idea about uh, a Johnny Boy and uh, a landscape and survival is about. bringing other like-minded uh, contractors together and uh, that's just important for me you know um, for many years I've tried to champion the consumer and make sure that they get value for money and uh, make sure that things are done in, in, in the right manner and uh, I think that anyone that uh, any landscaper that uh, joins uh, landscape survival are quality people I, th I think I believe that they're people that want to um, do things right. So um, by going on there, they can share their work, they can get other opinions uh, about uh, paving and about landscaping, hard landscaping, and uh, we can help each other out. And uh, so important, so so important. But the most important thing, what we need to do, we need to encourage and not criticise. So just be kind. Looking forward to meeting uh, Gavin and uh, Jordan. Apparently, uh, Gav said that he uh, can understand, he can't even understand what uh, Jordan's talking about half the time because he talks so fast, but I'll soon find out. Well, it's very hard to bring him to mind. This is the thing. It's all right when you're not going to happy, happy, it's ours. Hmm? Yeah, it's all right when you're bored now and. Uh, Gate 26, and uh, a bit nervous, you know. Uh, like I said, I don't want to be seen as being the Obi Wan Kenobi of the landscape more, so I'm just going to help these guys. Out. Let's just go and do it. Scotland and uh, sunshine. Well, uh, I'm here now, just uh, going to go outside and uh, meet Gavin and uh, be the first time. It's amazing, really. I'm, I am a bit nervous, and uh, you know, I, uh, I'm not a nervous guy, I, it doesn't bother me. But as it happens, it's my first time in, in Scotland and uh, never been here before. All the places I've been, been all over the States and uh, Mexico, and even done this sort of thing going out to Australia before and uh, all over Europe but never been to Scotland and uh, 
here I am. Terrible really, isn't it? Lovely country. Here they are. There's, t there's two of them. Hold on, here they are. Now before you say anything, slowly, <laughs> speak slowly. <laughs> Alright guys, here's your coffee. Oh, cheers mate, thanks very much. Uh, George, alright Gav. Cheers mate, thanks very much. Nice. Right. I'm here with Jordan and Gavin and uh, we're going to do the landscape survival today. We've come up and had a little go with them. Great lads, funny, great sense of humour. But the only problem is I'd rather be in it chilly, right? Because it'd be easier for me having to speak a bit of Spanish than understanding these two. <laughs> Karaoke time for the boys. <laughs> Well, I'm on, on the job now, and uh, I'm with the lads, and uh, they've got plenty of sub base in. They they need to adjust their levels probably a little bit more, but apart from that, I I think they're going to head in the right direction. But we're going to start paving around here. We're going to see what we can do. But hopefully, with what I can explain to them, what we can do is that will it will point them in the right direction. And how things should be done. Jordan, as you can see, he's a lot bigger than I am, and he feels very uncomfortable because I'm giving him a, oh, a, Welsh, a Welsh crutch. <laughs> but what's going to happen before the end of the day? He won't let me go, and I may become Scottish and stay up here. Definitely. <laughs> here we are. We're laying slabs. Look at this. The lads are mixing. Jordan's doing the best mix I've probably ever ever had. Absolutely perfect, not too much water in it. It's a cold day, it's a freezing day, so we don't want a lot of water in it, right? Excuse, excuse the noise in the background. But we're laying the, this sandstone now, and as you can see, we're coming down this alleyway here. The lady wants uh, an 100 mil gap against the house, so that's what we have to do. And um, we're going to be shooting across here, we're going to try and get as much done as possible. But the important thing is to get it done right. No, you're right, mate, you're right. Just, uh, have a look down here now. We're pushing on down here now, and a uh, bunch of uh, two good guys and uh, quality guys, and uh, they care about their customer. That's the most important thing, and uh, they care about what they do, and that's the reason I'm here. They've asked me to give an opinion, and I've come up here and I've I've, I've gave an opinion, and um, they're on the right road. They know what they're doing, and uh, sort of guys that you'd want to be working in your in your garden and uh, quality now and uh, we're pushing on and uh, we're making good progress we're just ad adjusting the levels a little bit we need a little bit more stone in places so we're not using so much sand and cement and that's the most important thing the sand's a bit wet at the moment which is a bit annoying but we have to deal with that and uh, I've just got that now and it's on the floor and it's just running out now perfectly it'll be okay in a minute but we're getting on with it let's just do it just been uh, talking to the guys and uh, they're good kids they're not kids they're men they're young men like good good lads like you know they're they're spot on and uh, they, they've got it right you know and they've got the right attitude a few things they needed to address and they're dealing with it now right but the fact is they listened they listened I'm, and i was, certainly wasn't preaching but one of the funniest things the lady just come out of the customer house and she said uh, seen you on youtube and uh she just subscribed <laughs> strange the heathen hills review. Well, here we are, Johnny Boy, landscape survival. With Gavin and Jordan in Scotland, my first time. Great pair of guys. That's all I'm going to say, you can see anything else. <laughs> Look at your shirt. Oh, thanks, Joyce. Come on, thanks. Ah, oh, look. Let's have a look at it now. The unfolds. Have a look at this now. Here we are. Landscape survival. Last time Johnny Boy on tour. <laughs> there we are. Hey Johnny Boy, something for you and all my friends. No worries. 
<laughs> Can he go to Crimmage Scotland and not get a bit of tartan? Look at that, a bit of tartan. <laughs> is it Motherwell? Aye. Is that the colours? Aye. There you are. There's no better place than having a bit of tartan in Scotland. <laughs> and a bit of Motherwell tartan. <laughs> I won't tell you what I'm going for dinner now. Liberty sing and the wildflowers spring and in sunshine. I'm with these uh, Scottish rebels here. <laughs> Give me a hard time today, and um, as the great Jim Talfer said, the, the Lions forward coach, who said, as Brits, he said, when we go to other countries, we never embrace what's good locally. First thing we do when we go to Spain is find a chip shop, a pint of Guinness. We never embrace anything that's good. But I have. <laughs> <laughs> Quiet now, please. Man. I have because I'm Johnny Boy. I'm a little bit different. These two are like me a little bit. But what we've got here, we've got... Come on, lads, what's, what is it? What am I eating? Deep fried haggis. Deep fried, not just haggis. Deep fried haggis. The address to a haggis. Entrails bricht like honey ditch. And is that a man? Is that a man or what? Is that his name? Is it haggis? No, tell us what haggis is. For our viewers, because you've got to remember, there's going to be some viewers be watching this from the States, Australia, Germany. <laughs> Some more sheep's, sheep's brain, sheep's heart. The uh, lot! Stomach lining. Oh, yeah, nothing like it. Yeah, gotta have it, haven't we? So, I'll show you what, now you'd have a little look down here. There we are. My wife won't be pleased that I'll be, I'm eating this. She won't even kiss, she don't kiss me anyway. No, she does. She won't be <laughs> kissing me. She won't be kissing me for a while now. Look at that. Haggis. So there you are, this is going in the vlog, and this will be evidence now when... Okay. Yeah, <laughs> they're the vlog. But this will be evidence when I'm buried next week. <laughs> Gotta go. Well, I'm done now uh, for the day, and uh, I've been working with uh, Gavin and Jordan, and they're real pleasant lads, they're really good, and uh, just getting overcast now and uh, it's been a great day a great bunch of guys and uh, we've we've been able to get this area paved at the side of the house and um, we spoke to the client and uh, she absolutely loves it more than happy with it and uh, I've come up with a few, few suggestions and she's really pleased with what we've suggested and it makes sense it's not about contractors trying to get away with things it's just she likes the idea of it but they've got a fair bit to do they've got a big area around, around the side, around the side here, around the back and uh, we knocked an hole in it, that's the thing for them and uh, we've come up here from Landscape Survival and uh, just to give these guys a hand so if you're in trouble anywhere and you need a hand, give us a call. No kisses. <laughs> <laughs> well, we get some teals, pot teals. Yeah, I've had a good day. Great, a great day with these uh, Scotch lads. They've been absolutely fantastic. But can I call you Scotch lads? Of course, course you are. Can I call you sweaty socks? No, I can't call them sweaty socks. Why is that? Is it derogatory? No. All right. Well, I've been with these sweaty socks, and um, no, I've had a great day. Brilliant lads, and they know what, they know what they're doing. So, if you need uh, some landscaping work done in anywhere in the Scotland area, in Glasgow, around there. There you boys. Yeah, everything through this is Glasgow Airport, and it's absolutely superb. It's, I mean, it's all, well, it seems to be anyway, like it all looks good. It looks better than what it does at, at the entrance, so let's go find something for the other flight. Not for me. And I'll be in Scotland for you. For me, I'm a dreamer.
Bunny, bunny, bear.